If you're running low on GTA Online Cash and need free money for the gun running DLC, then be sure to check out App Bounty and use my invite code for extra points. Check the description for more details. Hey guys, Nimrod here, and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what research is, how it works, and how you can profit from it within the new DLC, Gun Running, which just released to Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, you want to start off by going to your bunker, and you want to go into the laptop icon, which you can see on your radar, and you just want to sit down there. Now, this is a lot like the biker DLC. Let me, like, just throw that out there. A lot like the biker DLC. You see right there, registered as a CEO. You do have to be registered as a CEO or a biker or a VIP in order to actually get this started. There are many tabs here. You see we have resupply. We've got research, manage, sell, buy, and shut down. But right now, we're just going to focus on research. And you can actually, as you see, I click research. Let me explain this a little bit. Keep an eye on that fast track. We will get there in a second. But you see we have a supplies level, which is the orange bar. And then we have the research progress. And then we have our current project, which you see right there. It says it's locked. And again, supplies level, the orange bar. And the research progress, the green bar. As the supplies level goes down, the research progress will go up. Now, once that research progress hits full, this square right there will actually become unlocked and it will go to this unlocked tab. So anything that can be in there, you can actually take a look. There's a full list on the locked tab right there and it is random. One of these will randomly be thrown into your current project slot and your people will work on it. So it's just like the biker DLC. However, instead of having supplies go towards product for you to turn around and sell, your supplies are going towards a project which you are able to manufacture and profit from and use. And it can be anything from, you see there, we've got barrels, we've got camos, we've got weapon attachments, we've got weaponized vehicle attachments, different turrets for the weapons, uh, we've got miniguns, and the ballistic equipment, which is new with this DLC, is also there. And... You will notice as you're customizing your weapons and all kinds of things like that, you will come across the fact that you might have an option to actually add a camo or an attachment onto your weapon, but it will say that it is locked and that you need to unlock it through the research. That's what this stuff is for. So if you're customizing a weapon or, you know, wanting a certain camo, you know, a vehicle to look like buddies but in a different color, but you don't have their livery or their color, that is where this thing comes in. That's where the research comes in. That's why you might not have the bullets that your friends have. You might not have the camos that they have and vice versa, something that they don't because they haven't done the appropriate research for it. So just like what I show in the video with the turrets, after your research hits end and that project is complete, you just go like whether it be to your weapons workshop or your vehicle workshop and you can automatically throw those things onto the vehicle or onto the weapon. I know there are a ton of libraries and a ton of camos and weapon attachments out there and vehicle attachments out there that I'm wanting that I'm sure you guys are wanting but this is how you unlock them a lot of people are confused on that because it kind of is worded weird and that little notification you get in the game but that is how you do it again biker DLC a lot like biker DLC only instead of turning around and selling it you are actually unlocking things so that is how this all works that's really that's how that works and there is actually I just mentioned the fast track button this stuff takes a very long time to actually get filled up. I filled my supplies up and sat there for quite a while, just, you know, messing around with my friends or doing other stuff, working on other videos while that stuff was working in the background, like it does, just like the biker DLC. But it takes a very, very long time to actually go all the way and fill up so that that project can become completed. However, there is a way to where you can surpass all that, but it is kind of costly. What you're able to do is you're able to hit that fast track button and depending on how far along your project is, it will cost you money. If it is closer to the start, it will cost you more. If it is closer to the end, it will cost you less. On average, it's about $225,000. So it is kind of pricey and it does add up. But if you're in the market for that, if you have one of those modded accounts, which I know a few people that do, you can just fast track through this one after another, after another, after another. However, you do have to resupply and make sure you have supplies on at all times because once your supplies hit zero and they go below the mark of having supplies, you have to resupply because if you don't, your people will stop. Your white coats, your white lab, whatever they're called, will stop working 
or if you have them assigned to manufacturing, which we will talk about later in a different video, they will also stop. Now, really quickly, you are able to either choose whether you want them to manufacture or if you want them to actually go ahead and work on research. Now, you can make them do both or you can make them do one or the other. But essentially how this works, again, is I'll actually end up fast tracking it here. You are able to do a mission and collect supplies just like the Viker DLC and you'll bring them back to your bunker and you'll see I hit fast track here and we actually get the project finished and it's thrown on and I'm actually able, it's for my MOC, it is the back turrets and I'm actually able to go to my vehicle workshop and throw those on to my MOC. Now that is how the research works with new this new DLC. But before we get to the end of the video, please be sure to turn on post notifications as I'm going to be doing a ton of these DLC videos. Things that you do know, things that you might not know, and like instructions, tutorials, all kinds of stuff with this DLC, money methods, and I've got quite a few videos planned out. And I want you guys to be notified when I upload videos. Also, follow the link in the description. I opened up my crew. There are 25 of us in my crew already, which is, I mean, a lot for me. You know, you've got some crews out there with, uh, you know, thousands of people, but there are people in my crew for you to play with if you have nobody to play with. Sometimes you might even catch me playing in there. You don't know. I'll pop up on that list if I am online or if I'm not busy doing YouTube stuff. You can play with me. If you're not able to play with me, again, that opens up a wide variety of players for you to play with so you can enjoy this as a community. And also, follow the link in the description and follow me over on Twitter. I am preparing for a giveaway over there. We're almost at 5,400 subscribers, which not that long ago, I was just at 400, which is absolutely insane. I want to give back to you guys. I want to do giveaways, but I'm trying to get a few things straightened out before we get that started. But in the meantime, while you're waiting for that to actually start, you can interact with me, tweet at me, have a conversation with me, whatever. I do answer my YouTube comments, but if you're looking for a conversation, Twitter is the place to be. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it helped. And be sure to support the video with a like as well as subscribe for in for more videos on Grand Theft Auto 5 News, DLC, and more. Papa Nimrod is the best YouTube channel. Papa Nimrod is the best. Yes, he is. Papa Nimrod is the best. Go sub to him. Papa Nimrod is the best. Like the video. Papa Nimrod is the best. Leave a comment. He's the Papa. Nimrod!